is Canon R6 Mark II good for wedding filmmaking? I will answer this question in my review. My name is Michał Sikora, I'm a wedding filmmaker with 10 years of experience. I work in Poland and across Europe. I host my own wedding workshops and from 2022 I'm a Canon shooter. I got R6 Mark II for a real-life test. I shoot whole wedding with this camera. It wasn't a stylized shoot, it wasn't a studio shoot. It was normal 12-hour coverage of wedding. So I can tell how good this camera is in a normal working conditions. My everyday filming tool is Canon R3 paired with 28 to 70 and I was really curious how R6 Mark II will compete with the flagship model of Canon. First of all, hot news, the overheating issue is gone. I used this camera for 12 hours, I didn't notice any overheating, it didn't get really warm. Uh, I shoot winter wedding, but I work mainly indoors in the normal temperature condition and this camera uh, didn't get any errors, didn't get any overheating. Uh, it was really, really nice. It was really smooth, no, no issues. So the main issue with uh, former camera from Canon R6, R5, uh, I think it's gone. Each quality in R6 Mark II is very good. It's oversumped from 6K and it looks crisp, it looks smooth, really, really nice. Uh, image. For my taste it's even slightly better than R3. The one thing that differ R6 from R3 it's 6K recording. In this camera you can record 6K 50 externally and I think for weddings it's really enough. If you want to shoot wedding in 6K you can just plug in external record and record. In R3 you can do it internally but I think for a wedding it's just too much. As Canon R3 users, I was a little bit worried about batteries. In R3, I have big LPE19 batteries uh, that I need only two of them for 12-hour wedding coverage. And this model uses uh, old known batteries, LPE6. And I was really surprised that it used only three batteries during the whole wedding. I even borrowed some batteries from my friends uh, just in case, but I didn't, didn't use it. Three batteries was enough. R6 Mark II has two memory card slots and it uses SDXC card, which are affordable and much cheaper than CF Express cards. There are some new features in R6 Mark II that I think will be really important and useful for filming weddings. First of all, I think the most important thing is pre-recording function. It records three or five seconds of footage before you hit the record button. So I think in many, many cases during the wedding day, uh, it could save us. Another useful feature is a red frame that show up uh, when you hit record button. I think that there is no filmmaker in the whole world who did not make this mistake. You think you are recording, you think you hit record button, but you didn't. And this red frame could be really, really useful. Last feature I want to mention is subject detect only mode in autofocus. It works like this, that camera won't change focus when your subject is out of the frame. It won't change focus for foreground, it won't change focus for a background. It will stay in the same place and kind of wait for a subject to come back to the frame. I think it will be useful during dances or when any subject on a wedding will leave the frame and come back. 
as Canon 28 to 70 user, I was a little bit concerned about ergonomics of R6 Mark II. But when paired with this huge, heavy lens, it was quite comfortable to work during the whole wedding day. So I think the ergonomics of R6 Mark II is really good. It's not that good as an R3 because I love the size, I love the form factor of R3. For future use, I will consider using external monitor as a counterweight to this such big and heavy lens. And the small issue of R6 Mark II uh, is a quality of LCD screen and viewfinder. For me, it's not that good as R3, and I think it will be really beneficial to use an external monitor. Last thing I want to consider as a filmmaker who works mainly handheld is the image stabilization built in body. In R6 Mark II, stabilization works as good as R3, so for my taste, it's really well. To sum up and answer the question, is this camera good for wedding filmmaking? My answer is yes. It records in 4K50 without overheating, which is industry standard right now. For me, it has the best color rendition out in the market. It has really good power consumption. It used three batteries during 12 hour wedding coverage, which I think is really good result. It has good built-in image stabilization. And last but not least, the price tag. When I'm recording, this camera is $2,500. So I think it's a really good value for this money. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Canon R6 Mark II, any Canon cameras or just wedding videography, go to comment section below. I will be happy to answer any of your questions.